To start growing algae at home, you're going to need water, paper towels, a sharpie, bowls, a sieve, weighing scales, scissors and some gloves. You can find algae in most rivers, lakes and ponds. The water needs to be slow moving but not stagnant. First you should take some gloves and then there are bits that you can find straight from the pond. Here I'm just taking some extra bits off of the algae, bits of wood, and then I'm going to put them in the bag. It's also a good idea to take some of the pond water so if you bring a water bottle, just collect some of that water as well. When you bring the algae home, the next step is to clean it. This is really important because you don't want competing or uh, other organisms to be in with the algae. The method we're going to implement to do this is having a couple of bowls of water then if you put the algae into a sieve you can place the sieve into the bowl shake it around After doing this in one bowl for a while, uh, the, the bowl might get a bit dirty, so you might want to transfer it to another bowl and uh, continue the process. The cleaner you can get the algae, the better it will grow. Once you feel like you've thoroughly cleaned the algae, you can have a fresh bottle of water and drop the algae inside. With the algae in the bottle, you might want to know if it's in good condition. One way of telling is by seeing the plant respire. In this time-lapse video, if you look closely, you can see bubbles starting to form. This is the plant respiring. We're going to start an experiment. To begin, we're going to take two plastic bottles and cut the tops off. This will allow more air to the algae, which should help its growth. Carefully pierce the bottle and then start cutting all the way around. With one of these, you're going to want to mark it dark. And it helps to have a sharpie. With the other one, you're going to want to mark it light. You might have guessed, we're going to see the difference in growth of algae, whether it's in light or dark. So firstly, we're going to take our algae out of the bottle. We're going to dry it, and we're going to halve it. To dry it, take your paper towel and just lightly pat and keep patting until there's no more water. On the right I'm getting the two bottles ready using just plain water.
Next, you're going to weigh the algae. The algae is quite light, so it is important to have scales which are either 0 0.1 or 0 0.01 precision. Here we're using a 0 0.1 precision scale, and we've weighed in at 0 0.96 grams. So I've just tried to half that amount. And the first half of that will go into one of the containers. And the second half of it is going to go into the other. It's important to note down the exact weight. And so for the last stage of this experiment, we're going to take the container labelled dark and put it somewhere dark. and the container labelled light in sunshine. After a week, we'll take them out and dry them. In the next video, we will finish the experiment and look at the potential of growing algae to remove pollutants like carbon dioxide from the air, and human waste like urine from our waters. Growing at home is the first step to becoming familiarised with algae. We really want to hear your feelings on this and during the exhibition we will be collecting your thoughts. Thanks.